Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I would like to talk about Ethereum Classic, one of my favorite projects I've been following this past couple years, and I know some of you are also invested and interested in Ethereum Classic, so uh, I'm going to give you guys some information and news here. So Ethereum Classic just tweeted out that the Astor network has created a testnet using the new SHA-3 or KESAC-256 algorithm as its proof of work algorithm. Uh, sorry, did I say new algorithm? I, I believe 0x Bitcoin is using uh, SHA-3 right now as its, as its proof of work. Um, so it's been out for a while, but uh, I, I believe Ethereum Classic wants to possibly implement uh, a new proof of work algorithm because of the January attack that happened, and um, that attack, if you guys remember, uh, if you guys remember that Coinbase, um, Coinbase turned off withdrawals. A lot of exchanges had to turn off their Ethereum Classic withdrawal, so nobody could um, uh, withdraw their Ethereum Classic due to the uh, attack. And uh, so here's here's the rundown. Basically, if you guys don't know what a 51% attack is is the attackers were able to acquire 51% plus percentage of the hash power uh, of the Ethereum Classic network, so the ETH hash algorithm specifically. Uh, they used this They used this to reverse a series of deposits that they had made on exchanges. Thus, many users throughout the ecosystem tried to mine ETC to protect it, but were unable to respond quickly enough to prevent the attack. So uh, I believe there's around 5,000 or so Ethereum Classic that was kind of reversed. Um, uh, so yeah, so there was an ECIP 1049 which was proposed and uh, this was a pr proposition to change to the new algorithm of KESAC 256 or SHA-3. And yeah, so now um, this is really the big reason why uh, the Ethereum Classic is moving on uh, possibly to implement this new uh, proof of work algorithm because because of this attack and as well they didn't say that they didn't say it but um, I'm, I'm gonna just speculate here that the Lindsay ASIC from in China if you guys I, I've shown you guys Lindsay before if you guys haven't heard it was back in September 2018 that they announced that they had a uh, ASIC miner that was able to do 1400 mega hash on 1400 mega hash on the ETH hash algorithm at a thousand watts. Okay, a thousand watts. T take that as you will. A existing RX 570 rig, a six by RX 570 rig, can get about 180 mega hash at about 700 to 800 watts. Okay, so really, this this miner is about 10 times more uh, efficient per se uh, against graphic cards. So this ASIC miner is a lot more efficient. Uh, I haven't seen these in production. I haven't seen it live. I haven't seen videos of it. But you know, there's this website here, Lindsay. They also had a, uh, they also had a, um, uh, what you would call it, uh, a presentation at the Ethereum Classic Summit back in September. Uh, they have a video, a YouTube video, and PDF and everything of it. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm thinking it is real, and I don't know if they were the ones that act, that did this attack. Who knows? We, we're not sure. Um, but uh, I'll come back to that. So there's a there's a guy named Alex Tenkov. Uh, he's from Manhattan, New York, apparently, and um, he has two CPU miners that are currently putting out two. Uh, uh, putting out combined 435,000 hashes per second on the SHA-3 algorithm. So he's using CPUs to mine to the um, to the algorithm right now. So that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the Astor stats.astor.host. Uh, this is the this is the testnet here. You guys can you guys can go try and mine to it right now if you want. Uh, right now I see zero miners, so. Maybe our community, our Red Panda mining community here, we, you guys, we can uh, we can try and uh, see if we can mine to this. If some of you are interested in the SHA-3. And if we want to mine to it, there is a website here called astor.host. So there's the stats.astor.host for the testnet. You guys can see the live uh, representation, the hashes, the network, network difficulty and whatnot. And then here on astor.host, you can see that you can start mining SHA-3. 
if you want. So you click on mine and uh, apparently the only way to mine on the Astor testnet right now is using the Python CPU miner, which is the uh, CPU mining, which is right here. They have a link that goes to it. And if we go to it, it'll say you can either, you can run a node and, or, and then run the SHA-3 miner. So you can download the CPU miner uh, through Linux as well. I believe, was there a Windows one? Let me, let me just check here. I think there was a, yes, I believe there's a Windows one here. So there's a Cosmic V3, Cosmic, Co Cosmic miner. Um, I'm not sure if it works well or not, but this was released back in January 4th. So uh, take that as you will. Something interesting to look at. And um, yeah, sorry, the Cosmic SHA-3 miner. There's a link on the astro.host website near uh, slash mine uh, near the bottom. So you can go to uh, a good template for GPU optimized SHA-3 mining software. So we can you guys can try mining with the GPU with this. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. Um, maybe I'll do another video testing this out one day. If you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments. Uh, so yeah, so it's interesting that um, Ethereum Classic may want to move to a new algorithm. Uh, so now I wanted to talk about uh, that. Okay, we're going to go through the Ethereum prog ballot near the end. With, with SHA-3 being the algorithm, the possible new algorithm, or KESAC-256, I would like to just point out that, you know, I think FPGAs are able to mine on these algorithms. So, example, there is a SHA-3, on the Blackminer F1, they have a SHA-3 algorithm placed here on their website. Uh, sorry, this is on the FPGA.guide website. Uh, I'm not sure if this SHA-3 is the same algorithm as 0x Bitcoin, and the possible testnet that uh, we have here from astor.host uh, for Ethereum Classic. So it's something to look out for. I'm going to be following that real close, as well as the Atom Miner, Atom Miner AM01 FPGA. Personally, I have one myself, and I it has the Xilinx 7 series FPGA chip. And for example, it says here, I, I, uh, I just to just to, just to show you guys. It says algorithm Kesak or Kesak C or SHA three. I'm not sure if this is the same SHA three as what Ethereum Classic is implementing in their testnet, but um, I can see it's 500 mega hash at 17 watts. Uh, so that's that's pretty efficient. And I have an atom miner right now. I I just haven't had time to set it up yet and make a video about that for you guys. I've been meaning to do that, so I will definitely do that real soon. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Please subscribe and click the little bell to get that notification. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will I will I will keep I'll keep following this, guys. I'm gonna keep following Ethereum Classic as as I'm pretty interested uh, in it. Uh, so that's that and then the next part the next thing I want to talk about guys is the ethereum prog pal So this has nothing related to do with ethereum classic, but I just want to announce that uh, they said they had an uh, The audit may not be completed before the Istanbul uh, hard fork in uh, the Q4 of this year, so uh, It's it, it could be a while till prog pal could be could be implemented who knows um, but uh, they said Hudson Jameson Jameson said um, that we had a hardware partner who specialized in ASICs who was going to work with Least Authority, which was the audit uh, audit the third party audit uh, company, uh, to perform the hardware parts of the audit. They are no longer participating in the audit, so we are we are looking for other auditors for the hardware portion. Okay. So least authority will not be doing the hard hardware portion anymore. So uh, they Jameson said they are looking for some good candidates to fill in the in the position. However, it would effectively delay uh, the start of the audit even further than what they had anticipated. Uh, so and they said the sole reason the team was uncertain whether the audit would be ready before the Istanbul hard fork. Along with this, the member also spoke about the funding pertaining to Progpal Miner, where he remarked. On top of that, I'm not sure if anyone has sorted the sorted the funding situation in order to build an open source progpal miner, an open source progpal miner. So, um, there's a few things there that I kind of questioned. Is that there are a few 
Uh, oops, there are a few um, prog power miners, prog power miners out there already. Um, so I am kind of I'm kind of confused at what he said about that, but uh, but anyways, uh, that's just what I wanted to tell tell you guys. Just keep you updated on what's happening with prog pow. So it is delay it's delayed now. It's delayed even more. Uh, apparently, so we'll see what happens in the next couple months or next couple years, a year. So, um, yeah. And uh, with now, I, the final final thoughts I wanted to end off with is that if Ethereum Classic goes towards this SHA three uh, two fifty six algorithm, I you know I, I I wonder how well does it do on AMD graphic cards? How well does it do on Nvidia graphic cards? And with ProgPal coming out, possibly, for Ethereum, as you guys know, currently, the AMD cards are pretty pretty, bra pretty bad on ProgPal, to be honest, in terms of efficiency and versus the NVIDIA cards. Our NVIDIA cards are doing much better. Uh, if you look at Bitsby Trippin, he has a, he has a list that shows uh, the ProgPal results versus like a 1060 or an RX 570. And a 1060 can do like much better than a RX 570. So, and the RX 570 is getting close to like 150 to 200 watts, which is just nuts. So, I I have a feeling, I have a fear in the next year, um, if if ProgPow or if SHA3 gets implemented for Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, uh, to these algorithm moves, I I I'm I'm just I'm just wondering, will what what's gonna happen to these uh. Uh, Polaris cards. What's going to happen to these cards that a lot of people own? And I know maybe, yeah, maybe those people will move to like Kryptonite R or some uh, Kryptonite algorithm or another ETH, ETH hash algorithm. There's plenty of them. Uh, uh, other ETH hash coins. There's plenty of different coins out there. Uh, but uh, in terms of profitability, you know, then Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, uh, who knows what's going to happen, you know, if those alg algorithms will, will come to fruition. And you know, I, I I commend I commend Ethereum Classic for even just talking about um, changing their algorithm because of the fifty one percent attack. It's it's good for the security of the network of a coin to to focus on upgrading and you know uh, changing the algorithm because getting fifty one percent attack attacked is not good for the network, right? And I know, I know. As 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 for us miners, maybe some of you might say, Red Panda, that doesn't really matter. That doesn't care. All we care about is profitability. But you know, for me, I I do care about the coins' well-being and the coin security, the coins' fundamentals, whatever, all that good stuff uh, for the whole ecosystem, right? We can't just have bad actors, you know, uh, dominating coins and whatnot. There's also like the there's like Aeon as well. You know, they're they're moving towards. Uh, later this year uh, to a new hybrid proof of work system where they will still have uh, miners and as well proof of stake as well to uh, prevent 51% uh, attacks. So uh, I commend Ethereum a classic. I commend, commend, like I, 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 I totally praise Ethereum classic for working on these kind of things because um, yeah, it's, yeah, it just helps out the network. So Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you think down below. Um, let me know if you guys are a fan of Ethereum, Cla Ethereum Classic and Ethereum. And uh, let me know what you guys think about SHA-3 as the possible new algorithm uh, for Ethereum Classic. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Please smash the like button, subscribe, click the little bell so you guys get my notifications every, every, day, every day. I get a video every day. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.